Yes. Welcome here. It is day number 17. Oh, I don't have a pico up. What? There we go. Hi, everybody. Welcome and I'm to my little stream that is coming to an end slowly. Today is the... Hey, Master Imagery. Uh, today is day number 17, so we're gonna stream today. We're gonna stream tomorrow. Day after tomorrow, final stream. And the final stream is gonna be a very short one because that's gonna be the stream where I will actually release the game, like upload it to website and everything. So actually just today and tomorrow. Um, I said I would stream a bit earlier today. Kind of didn't do that. Listen, I've been running at full tilt for, for over two weeks now. <laughs> so sometimes daddy needs a slow morning, okay. <laughs> no, I actually been working a little on this. Uh, I actually did sit down earlier and I did what I said I would do. I just like um, went through the sound effects and, and I made sure that um, I did a pass on the sound effects. Uh, time for, well, the rest is coming afterwards, but uh, yeah, you, you have to maintain a sustainable pace, I would say. Um, so I did a little bit work and I wanted to share with you the sound effects. So let me, let me, let me turn off the music. Let me pu push pause on this one. Okay, so this is the current version. So I, I will play to you the sound effects. I will actually increase the, sound, the volume so you can hear it better. Um, so I've been going through sound effects. I wanted to make them sound more like um, what the music sounds like because we kind of like bring the music and the sound effects together. We already had like the ding, you know, last time. The, the ding was kind of like, uh, has turned into kind of like a sound effect. And I want to uh, more the sound effects to sound something like more something from the music. And I actually used the instrument that Gruber Music was using uh, for the some of the sound effects. So this is a um, very simple sound effect when the cursor is moving. Like a very quiet tick, 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 tick. Obviously sound effect that plays all the time, so it has to be really, really quick. This is the sound effect when we're picking up uh, an element. And it, again, they, they like a very high, you know. Sounds better than what we had previously, what was a bit lower and sounded more like, um, you know, like Super Mario sound effects, more cartoony. I always run out of momentum and find it hard to get past the 80% mark. Loads of unfinished bits and pieces of code. I feel like when you're at the 80% mark, I feel like that's where you get the second wind. I feel like when you think you're at the 80% mark, you're actually more at the 50% mark. And that's why you ran out of, out of wind. I think our, like, that's, that applies to me as well. I, our, I am not, like, this stream is about to end, but I am far from being done with the, with the game. Um, I will probably need at least two more weeks after uh, the next month to actually bring it um, to fruition. For example, I did not do any kind of playtesting at all. And that's probably something that I will do. Uh, next, I will prepare kind of like a playtesting version for the Discord community. I will release it on, on my on my Discord and will actually make a lot of people play it and then uh, get some feedback, uh, fix all the mistakes and also kind of like try to do what I was talking about, try to find those kind of levels that I will then string together to maybe a campaign. Um, anyway, so this is the picking up sound. This is the putting down sound. No, no. This is the didn't work sound. This might be the pick. Uh, I don't know. One. <laughs> I, I forgot. We're gonna we're gonna see how they work. And then this is the sound for uh, completing a halo. So this is a halo flying up. Okay, we already have these. So let me let me show you how this works. That, that kind of yeah yeah we understand I don't know if the volume levels okay I, it's, it's full volume right now maybe a bit lower eh, whatever and then we're gonna play okay there's no movement sound here we have to br bring it in
And the only problem is the cancel sound is now a little bit too too prominent. Like if you drop it at the same place where it came from, and that cancels the movement, which is correct. But um, but um, but yeah, it's too loud. People complain about the loudness. Well, I bring it down, down again. Um, yeah, so again, so very, very subtle sound effects. I didn't want them to be overbearing. Um, but yeah, um, I want, I wanted to kind of feel more like the sound effects from there. Yeah, the sound effects are interrupting the music. Maybe I want to make sure that the channels are set correctly. Might be, they might not be set correctly. And again, the cancelling has to be fixed. Oh yeah, then I haven't actually completed the... Yeah, the thing, the thing. I think that 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 was probably the right choice here. And now I want to bring this this sound uh, more into into the fray. Um, <clears throat> so let's do sound fix um, tick on moving. We could also try tick tick on over. Um, drop to source, no cancel. Um, I think that's going to be most of it. Okay, let's do the tick on moving. Uh, so this is going to be an update function. Uh, and here where we do a UPD game. Oh, yeah, yeah. So these are just like three. Three local functions just to... Um, Uh, three, three local variables that we can like keep track of. Of the positions of things. And I'm gonna go if uh, or or so if something has changed. Uh, then, because like sometimes you 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 press a button, but actually the cursor is not moving, and in that case, I don't want the sound effect to play, be playing. Ah oh, man. Try this. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it interrupts the sound a little bit, the music. But maybe we can fix this. Um, let me look this up. I want to know if the um, audio channel start with zero or one because sometimes it's it's not very consistently great. 
It wouldn't be great if, if Zep in the far future made Pico 9. <laughs> and it's just like Pico 8, but my Lego like little tweaks, you know? <laughs> Where things like that is fixed. Uh, okay, channel. What is the channel? Uh, zero to three. Mm -hmm. So I want this to be played on three. Maybe that helps. Sounds cleaner. Okay, I think that's good. That's it. Okay, um, let's actually do this every time we do an SFX. Um, comma three. Um, oh, actually, this is this is one of the, the cases where we're not doing it because because this is kind of like a layered sound effect. But in that that moment, the, the music shouldn't be playing anymore. Hey, Christine. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm. I, I got it. Like in two days, I have to publish the game, so I got to like put the pedal to the metal, if you know what I'm saying. No, no rest for a wicket and so forth. Um. There's another comma three, another comma three. There's a lot of like movement sound effects that we could probably. Oh wait, we need to look for SFX. There's another one here. What is this? Start drag. Okay, comma three. Oh, another one. Drop drag, comma three, comma three. Oh man, comma three, comma three, uh, comma three. Just making sure that whenever there is a sound effect, it's always in the last. Yeah, have you seen Agustin? Have you seen the animation? That looks good, huh? The idea was like to replicate on the on the cover. You had like these balls flying flying out of the of the out of the head of the girl. So I want to make sure that that I get some of that in the game as well. So this is how the balls are get, getting created. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so I think we got this. Tick on moving is finished. Um, tick on over, that's something I want to maybe try. Um, so when we do mouse butts and... Let me see. It's insane to think about that you just recently started. I. I don't know. I, it, it feels like a long time ago since I started. Like <laughs> 17 days. I mean, it's two weeks I've been working on this. Um, but yeah, I guess it's, it's, it's all relative, right? Also, like the, the time com seems a lot longer to me because I just spent so much time with it. It already feels like I'm, I've, I've been here for such a long time. Um... Uh... Okay, so this is this is hover. Local was hover. Um, so if if it's set to hover. Then I'm gonna go if was hover is not equals is or equals yeah it's not equals true or equals false whatever 
then. And this is where we do the um, SFX 60. 60 Oh, yeah. That's important that the buttons make sound effects. Okay, uh, there's some other sound effects that we're missing. Let me check them out. In the well, <laughs> you know what? Um, there's I, sh I should probably do a sound effect here, but then there's a good chance that we're actually not gonna um, ship the game with this um, window just yet, so we can always bring it back. Uh, it was more important that we have this, uh, these buttons work. Okay, um, so tick on over is done. A drop to source, no cancel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So gameplay, we have to do on the drop halo. No, not drop halo, a drop drag. So the idea here is that if SX is equals drag source, um, then we that counts as a cancel. And then we're gonna play a cancel sound effect. Um, but, There is an exception here. Uh, uh, and sixty sixty two sixty two or six. Or sixty-three. No, that's not the one. Sixty-one. It's like this. No. Sixty one, sixty three, like this. So this is always the drop sound effect. And then if we we drop it somewhere where it doesn't belong, then we're gonna get a wheel sound effect. That's the idea, right? Now we can we can even there's it doesn't make a tick sound even here. Ah, oh, so good. Mm, 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 mm. Good. So this fixes the sound effects. Uh, another, well, at least for now, uh, another sound problem solved. Um, ending start sound. We did that. Sound overhaul. We did that. Move a bit higher. Oh yeah, the the yeah, and then maybe um, girl a little little bit lower. So there's more um, because right now, if you if you look at this, uh, I'm gonna drop one. Oh, let's drop one other one. You see how the balls, they are actually flying on top of the these, and I think we should put them low, en low enough that this doesn't happen.
Okay, um, but for now we are concerned about the ending. Um, so, <laughs> wait, it has been two weeks? <laughs> I could swear it was only one. <laughs> My time flies. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was two weeks, <laughs> over two weeks now. 17, that's almost, yeah, we are kind of like two and a half weeks now. As I said, like 20 days was the original idea and um, I was initially planning for four hours a day. But yeah, four hours a day is, is a lot. People say like, oh, you know, eight hours a day programming. It's, nah, you cannot pull this off. It's, I mean, I cannot pull this off. I feel like at four hours a day, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm running at, at, at a high velocity at four hours a day. Uh, speaking of which, I would probably stream more, um, just slightly over an hour more. Um, so I hope I, I to get done as much as I can during this time. Okay, um, level ending move a bit higher, right. E, 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 e. So I think we need to go to e, UPD Gover. Uh, there we go. This is the ending. Let's put it just smack in the middle, 64. And then UPD uh, Gover. And then when we're animating it, we are animating it to 64 minus, uh, or like 128 minus 47 divided by two. And just put a smack in the middle. Hey, Jimmy Gads, what up? How are things going? Uh, 40, okay. And then, yeah, that's good. And then we reset to 40. It's a bit wonky if you do it this quickly, but this will technically probably never reappear. Good, good, just updated the shmup. Things are looking really smooth now here. Cool, cool. Post it in the Discord. Are you in Discord, Jimmy Gans? Yes, yes. Sweet, 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 looking forward to it. I will tune in next time. Uh, next time I get an opportunity for it. Good, so this worked. Uh, I, I, last time I wasn't so hot about how the, the text has the same color as the mind clear. Maybe I just have to get over it. And also, I, I, I want to eventually, but not now, I want to do some fading functions so maybe the, the font fades in and so forth. But that's not the thing that we're gonna do today. Yeah, it looks better centered. Thanks. Um, that's, that's good to, to hear the confirmation. Um, good. So let us do on the um, UPD game. The, the code to figure out where the girl go, goes is, is, is weirdly complicated. Halo, Halo DY. You could try printing the secondary text with the girl's color of the palette bottles. Yeah, I tried some palettes yesterday, but I think the girl's color would be too soft because I already tried this color, like the warm gray, and that already didn't look so great. Initially, I had the dark blue, but it's the original dark blue. Um, and I replaced dark blue with a brighter blue, and using that also doesn't look great now. So, you know, it's kind of like those... Um, it, it's one of those things where I designed something and it looked good, and I got used to that look. 
and now I cannot replicate that look because I made a mistake and now it, it feels wrong to me, but maybe I just have to get used to it. If, if you feel that it looks fine, then maybe I'm just like getting hot and bothered about things that don't matter actually. Um, Yeah, here we go. Let's go 86. I think, I think at least three more. So like something like three, I used the, the number 80 so many times, so I just want to make sure that. She's a limit for f f f um, down low here. I might bring her up on the final. Oh, I missed the part where you experimented. Sorry for bringing it up again. The size font difference should indicate this. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, 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 it's fine, it's fine. It's just, um, I, they, uh, I, I can show you the original design. Um, I had, I used, the, oh, no, that wasn't even the this color. Uh, you don't see it. Let me switch. Uh, see, I used this very, very dark blue color, and I don't think, yeah, it's not even this one. It's kind of like the zero from the alternate color palette, so it's like the darkest blue, and that 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 brings it a little bit color. Um, but yeah, it's just a subtle difference. It's just one of those things that I get hung up on, you know. Just, don't, don't, don't mind me, don't mind me. Um, Um, oh, somebody gets banned. Banned. Okay, so, yeah, plus six is correct, I feel. It's just like when, oh, what was that? <laughs> That's odd. That's so weird. What? what how did that happen? We're gonna have to figure it out in a second, but um, yeah. Yeah, uh, I want to bring her up. Moving Halo. So let us move her down. Something like this, so just like minus 10. Ah, oh, that's, see, that's not good.
So we need to we would do more than plus six, maybe plus 12. Uh, let's just look first. Um, wait, so... It's, I have to, like, this, the way this works is a bit confusing. Um, bottom out. Um, this placed. Okay, this is actually displaced, so that's, that's good to know. Okay, it's displaced. I feel we kind of need maybe like two more. So like 14 is the, the right number. And if Halo DY 80 is kind of like the standard, so the cutoff point should be 80 minus 14, oops. So the cutoff point should be actually 66. Yes! <laughs> yes! It was, it was, it, it is destiny. 66. What is that? Oh, okay, the, the cursor is chronic. But it, it does this weird thing where the, where when I'm, it's, it's, it's scrolls in the wrong direction. I had this before. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with the mouse. And now it's bottom out, so this is, yeah, okay. There's something wrong with the mouse. Oh yeah, okay, now now it's, it's, yeah, like this. Let's try this. Yeah, now it works. Oh, thank you, Catch33. Yeah, the orbs are... The, they, 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 we made them work. It, it, it took a while to make them work like this, but I'm, I'm happy we did. Um, What if we do for the mouse scrolling, if we just put it at 70 or something? Because I think this is a bit, this is a, I, I, don't, I don't like the scrolling too much. What if we bring it back to 80? Would it be stronger or, yeah, yeah, so this is good. So she's all the way down here, but that's okay. And then if you bring it here, then we we be scrolling down, but yeah. I mean, if you're doing this, it, there, something is going wrong, maybe. <laughs> or maybe very right. Too many cards. Too many cards. Okay, this worked. <clears throat> is now a little bit lower. Um, finish Halo. Our cards fly into the Halo juice. Yeah. You know, this is the thing I've been carrying with me the whole evening and the whole morning. <sighs> because this is tough. 
How many, how many tokens do we have left? We're approaching the token barrier, man. We, we have less than 2,000 tokens left. But there's plenty of ways of saving them, though, so I'm not too worried. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so the problem that we're trying to solve is that right now, um, when you drag stuff into the halo, it kind of immediately disappears, right? But every everywhere else, when we drag something in there, it flies to the its destination. So what I wanted to maybe do is where, and also like the halo doesn't interact nicely, I think it's it's kind of like random where it, where it is. Um, so what I wanted to do maybe is that the cards, um, when I release them into the halo, they actually fly to their positions. They do not just like snap in there, but just like move, move there. Um, and that is a multi-stage problem because first of all, okay, we have to create the cards and they have to move. That's something that we can figure out. We have to figure out what position they're moving to. That's kind of difficult because you kind of have to figure out where they're supposed to go on the halo. And that's not an obvious thing to do. Then, once they arrive at the halo, so when you drop something, they, the halo shouldn't change immediately. We should have the cards flying and the halo should only change once the cards hit the halo. Hit the halo. <laughs> And then uh, this also creates a bit of a problem where I kind of don't want to have like, because now I'm changing uh, the data of the game based on an animation. And that's kind of like an icky thing to do. Um, so the entire function where we drop things into Halo has to be like really reconsidered now and, 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 and turned inside out and, and, and that's that's a terrifying terrifying idea yikes hmm. it would be easier if I just didn't do it <laughs> and I'm, I'm considering maybe maybe just leaving it as it is but I kind of like if I just don't do it without trying, that would also feel bad. So maybe let's break this down. Let's break this down into, into individual steps. Okay, cards fly into Halo Juice. What would we need to do in order to do this? Um, first of all, cards fly into center of Halo. Then I'm not sure if it's necessary, but cards fly to where they need to. That would be the second step. And then the third step, contents of Halo change only when cards hit. It's kind of like, like we're, we're breaking it down into three different steps. And the second step we might avoid if we change the way the halo rotates, like if we make it so that when you drop it, the halo turns in, so that the center is where the next card is supposed to go. And when a card hits, it rotates further. But uh, I didn't want it to be like a very long animation. So I wanted like, you release them, blah, they all fly in very quickly uh, that uh, when something happens very quickly you can hide a lot of uh, imperfections um, and uh, there's lots of imperfections here because the cards are not rotated correctly they should be rotating and i definitely want, don't want to put a rotating function in there so yeah okay let's 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 one more one more into the breach um Guys of the particles, <laughs> just like huge particle explosion.
let me uh, find out. So we have to go to a start game. Oops, that's not what I wanted. Now we're kind of like even worried about, about the tokens again. Uh, we use a lot of tokens for silly things. I mean, there's, let's be honest, there's, there's some ways of, of making things, of, of saving some tokens. Okay, let's, let's make it so that there is no... Usually when I drop the cards, um, I will just kind of put them back in kind of like the heap uh, array. But now there is no heap array where they go. That's, that's a bit of a problem. So we kind of have to put them into like an array that is for dedicated for cards that are about to fly into the hill. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. <laughs> there is a bit of a problem on the clear because when we're clearing things, we are actually handling things a bit differently. Let's t t tackle that later on. Okay, here we're deleting things from drag. So these are the, the two situations where we're deleting things from drag. As long as you have the confidence in genera, and a genera that doesn't gobble your fine spending on silly things. Ah, you're fine spending. Yeah, I don't know if I have the confidence, but uh, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Um, so we're gonna call this h drag equals this. Now let me think about this. Yeah, that's good. So we're gonna go add h drag, comma this, and h drag last h drag. Oh. We have to copy. 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 Each track. CRD. Okay. Okay, so no, 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 no. What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, like this. So we're adding to H drag the yeah the first card in it in in the drag and then. We're copying into. We could, we could do this first. You know, we don't have to. Yeah, that one might be better. So we're copying the card, putting it into the actual halo. I want to put them in the halo, definitely. Like this. Uh, 
Oh, it, it went uh, it went to August last time. This time it goes. They, they were really late this year. Hey, Sinogia. Good morning. Wait. You're dropping the halo. Oh, okay, okay. Putting this there, we're putting this there. Okay. Now we need to do the same thing down here. Now this is a bit difficult here because we this this time we're going backwards through the drag, so we're putting the last card. We are touching the last card first because there's two ways of putting things to Halo because it's not complicated enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, okay, so. What 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 is happening? Drag. I so we're copying the cart. adding it at the beginning. We're taking the last card of and adding at the beginning of the line. Okay, yeah, that's good. So again, copy card, drag, square brackets I. Then we're adding the last card. Last card is the one first that should connect. That's good. Mm -hmm. The order is a bit maybe messed up in the H deck array, but actually maybe that's good. I, I want it so that the, the first card in the H deck array is the first one that's supposed to go to its target. Okay. Let's see let's see if this even executes. Well, it does. Okay, but we're not doing anything yet, so Okay, so let's, by the way, let's put it in to-do list. So that's gonna be the, um, that's gonna be the most difficult part. Make it work with um, Halo Clears. That's, that's a whole different challenge. Uh, right now, we, we're just making it work with, with you know. Okay, here's draw game. Draw girl, draw halo, draw texture, debug, okay. Draw card R. Mm -hmm. And then, oops. If H drag, H drag. Ooh. 
we could save something or some some effort if we go um, draw cards R mm. H drag uh, we get this if R equals if R if there's something in R, we're gonna draw it. Otherwise, if we're just gonna ignore it, and then we can save us. See how, how precious I'm getting about this? Good luck with the stuff. I'm going to try to get some more work done and go back to bed sooner. All right, all right. You get that Z in. Very important to get those Z in. Okay, so see, this is this is the card. They're now there. <laughs> I need to animate them. Um, okay, so this is this is good. Now, where do we animate the cards? Animated cards, there we go. Okay, well, that's gonna be quite easy to an H drag, right? What, what happened here? What? Why? What? How, how does that happen? Is, is that the mouse causing this? Somehow it just triggers too much. Seems like we might have fixed this. All right. Um, so we so we're moving them now, but I probably that will not not change anything here. They're just like still there. We need to give those cards targets. Um. Um, what are the targets? DX. So we can go. Del E drag. This is gonna be CRD, and this is gonna be just a copy. 
That might be, might have, I should have done probably this, this earlier. That's better actually. CRD. CRD. Okay. And then we can go with something like CRD dot dx equals 64 uh, crd dot dy equals uh, uh, where is it going function I want to update game and actually now let me let me find a halo draw draw halo yeah where is it on the screen Yes, there. Let's try that. Uh, gameplay, yeah. Let's let's try. Copy this up there. This is the same code, so we might we might um, think of doing turn this into function maybe. It's not going where it's supposed to be going. Why? track here if card X is not equals card DX then hmm. oh it does go where it's supposed to go okay good it just looked weird, yeah, because it's like an offset. Okay, then let's fix that offset problem. And I guess this needs to be higher as well. Minus six. No, even higher, minus 10. Oh, oh, yeah. Bit too high, so minus eight. Yeah, that's that seems about right. like when I put multiple cards. Oh yeah, they go together. Okay. Um,
what is the next step? We did that now. Cards fly into the center. Hey, look, cards fly to where they need to. That's gonna be the next step. Uh, we have to figure out where the cards are supposed to go. Kind of can take. That's a bit of a tricky. Way. Let me let me look at the draw function of the halo. So we have H start. No, prep halo. I want to see prep halo. This is where we're doing stuff. Oh, actually, this is interesting. So we actually don't have this anymore. It's just like halo R now. Interesting. That time of the day. Hello, Harry Gilbert. Hello, hello. Okay, 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 okay. So hear me out. So it's a, a Halo R is what we're looking for. Everything else will kind of get fixed for us. We just need to put the cards at Halo R. Well, this and Halo R. Right, so this is the position that, that we derived. So I is the number of the card we're talking about. I want to fly by 11, halo. So how about we drop it in here? The only thing we need to figure out now is I. And I... So this is the, the thing where we're adding them to the end. So in this case, uh, I should be just... Hashtag line. So this is for this solution. This will be a bit more difficult. Here, <laughs> I love this routine, uh, because here we are, oh, I think we, we, we made the mistake, mistakey. Yeah, the code is this, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, and here we're getting cards from the beginning and adding them to the end. Here we're getting them from the end and we should be adding them to the beginning, like this. Okay, so this is good. This is not good right now. you find a different project to work on later <laughs> really got into this code lurking <laughs> um, yeah I don't know how to how to solve this that's a bit of a bummer uh, let us let us let us just see uh, let's attach another one Man, 
I don't even know. I think the rotating halo makes things a bit more complicated. So I just want to turn off the rotation. Wow, I just have it. I don't have a function for it, it's just here. Animate halo, there we go. Normal halo, there we go. Stop rotation on drag. Okay, so let's just always stop the rotation. And this will make things a little bit easier because now I know what I'm doing. Okay, so if I add this. It kind of did what it was supposed to happen. And here. Yeah, it, it goes where it's supposed to go for sure. I mean, it appears also here, so that's kind of a, a bit of a bummer. But. but now, of course, the whole halo is moving, so that's a bit of a problem. This is whole ba completely bad. Uh, I'm not, not the way it's supposed to go, but it's okay. That's adding things to the front. That's that was supposed to was supposed to go wrong. Okay, uh, I will go to the toilet. We'll we be we'll be right back. Yes, I have returned. I don't have too much time. Um, about 20 minutes? Let's, let's, let's set a stopwatch at 20 minutes. But I think... Um, um, I, I, had an, I think I, I, I got it. <laughs> um, I just want to make sure. Here, how do we do... See, there's this Halo X. I'm finding I'm working. I'm finding working on my own Pico project has been much easier with the streams on between his work and the chat happening. Here it feels like some kind of decentralized indie workshop space. <laughs> well, I'm glad that that's helping. Uh, yeah, if you see other people working, then maybe, then maybe you are more or less be like, oh, sh damn, that's what we're doing. Uh, <laughs> I'm jumping in. I'm doing my part, you know. <laughs> um, okay. I, 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 I think I know. I think I know. So this is actually... Yes, 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 yes. Oh, 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 oh. See, 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 look at this. Uh, it's gonna be... Minus. Uh, and then I multiply by that. I think that that will be the, the thing. Okay, so here it is now, and I'm and now adding something to the front. That worked. It di didn't move, right? It didn't move. Let me pay attention to this. Nope, it didn't move. The, uh, the other thing disappeared, but that makes sense. And then now I'm moving something to the other side. Yes. This is good. So let's do a little uh, plus two here. Uh, and here also a plus two uh, to get the positioning a little better.
Hey, uh, Kekelev. How are you doing? Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. You know what's weird? Why? Huh. Sometimes it's... Oh, I have an h drag here, but I don't delete it here. Okay, got it. Okay, so this is working. Uh, I, they're, they're flying to the right destinations. Now what I want to do is when they arrive at their destination, something has to be happening. Let, or, or, or is it? Like, is that the idea? Uh, okay, and then contents of Halo changes with hit. That's, that's a bit of a troublesome problem. But I, but I had an idea how to solve this. So we can put things in Halo and make them invisible. And then when the cart arrives at its destination, it kind of turns invisible. Um, so. And that way we adding the things to the actual halo here. Um, and we don't have to do it based on an animation. The animation just manipulates a little bit the content, but it's not necessarily, you know, life-changing stuff. So I'm gonna go with CRD viz hide. Well, it's gonna be halo hide, but okay. Um, and then in the tool, uh, in the prep um, halo. Prep halo. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Um, you can do it in a draw card too, function. If CRD dot hide, then return. Now it's going there, but it's like, yeah. And so now the question is when we are animating things, um, that's going to be an update game. Removing cards. That's a lot of stuff in the animation. Animating cards, there we go. So this is where we snap into the target. Ah, perfect. And I'm gonna go if crd.hide then um, delete. Oh, maybe we should call it differently than hide. Uh, CRD. Whatever. Let me just call it hide. We, I'm not gonna re, re change it. And then uh, we're gonna delete it from H track. Uh, CRD. And then. So the question is, how are we going to do this? Uh, should each card kind of like remember which card it activates in the, in the halo? Or, and that would be simpler, we're just gonna have a function that like loops through. No, I think this can be easier if you do something like this. So, so we're gonna go halo. H drag. No, whatever. For halo. 
for i equals one uh, two two hashtag halo two. and if is it halo yeah it's halo is it halo Yeah, it's Halo, right? Yeah. Um, if Halo square brackets, square brackets, I, it's not equals uh, dot hide, it's not equals. Uh, halo i minus one hide then um, You know what? I just realized oh, we have to do another thing. Okay. If hashtag halo equals one, then else hey, then halo. In this case, um, halo height equals or It's going to be easier. False. False. Um, can we? There was some kind of way of canceling a for loop, right? Exit loop, something like this. Eight exit. How do you uh, prematurely exit uh, a loop in BQ8? Was there like some kind of like cancel thing? Or do I have to break? breaks loops so we're gonna we can then go break okay yeah but we're gonna find out if it works halo is a nil value
but we're adding things to it. the global halo oh is it is it oh, i did it again guys oh i did it again it's hail zero not halo oh but uh, now i was prepared it looks so good Okay, that was, that was not good, but it... <laughs> oh man, that's so good! Oh. Okay, putting in multiple ones didn't work. Not sure why. Oh, I guess it's because... Yeah, yeah, here. So in this works, obviously, but... No, wait. Why didn't it work? Oh, right, 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 because if... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so glad I did this! Holy crap! That <laughs> changes a lot. Oh yeah, never, 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 never doubt the juice, man. Never doubt the juice. Ah, oh, that's so good. Uh, there's some one problem and that is if we're dragging multiple cards into the halo and all of the cards are empty then oh oh no I think we might just like save which Halo should get activated. So we're gonna go Halo, hashtag H drag. Hide I hide plus false. Uh C R D. Hide Heidi Heidi. Heidi. I I'm gonna call it Heidi. We can remove this. This is this was good, but I think we need to we need to be more specific. That will simplify this code. And by the way, here we can add sound effects. Uh And then you just get set Heidi to whatever it has to be set to. Um, so we're gonna go CRD dot Heidi. Um, this is adding things to the f to the back, so this is gonna be easier because we're gonna go set Heidi equals um, and then hashtag and any. Um, this is going to be a bit harder. Uh, 
um, because we are adding cards to the front of, of the thing. So wait. But actually, no, it's not. It's just like, it's just I. Yeah. Let's try that. Does that look okay? Yeah. Image is delayed. I uh, no, I think that's just you. Or is it? Uh, you guys let me know. Yeah. I mean, there's some things appearing out of nowhere. Don't get me wrong, but we're gonna we're gonna deal with this in a second. I, I have ideas. I have ideas. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Good. Mm, and it didn't even took that many tokens so far. So far, <laughs> we still have to do a bunch of things. Oh. We are about to run out of time, though. No! Uh, but I'm, I'm feeling a lot more relieved that... Yeah, yeah, I think we need to go. Okay, so this... This works. Make it what with Halo Clear is also already something that we want to do. Also, um, Halo Road Rotates into place better. <laughs> so basically, this you know, this interaction where um, the halo would rotate into place when I mouse over it. Um, I wanted that to be a bit better, and I have ideas on how to do this. Um, and I think if we add that, I think they're also the putting things on the halo will also look a, a lot nicer as well. I mean, it looks already pretty nice, but it's kind of like weird that. Um, uh, let, me, let, me, let me show you what I mean. It's, it looks a little bit weird that when I drop them off, you know, it add, gets added to the right side. It would be nice if they w would all fly into the center. Uh, but wait, something I, I want to also maybe do. Okay, give me one thing. I just want to add one thing. One more thing. Cod dot wait. equals I can do it here pretty easily uh, equals i times i minus one times eleven uh, times five and here we're gonna do CRD dot wait. Um, <clears throat> Whatever, we just keep it at this. Progressive rotation instead of all at once. No, no, I think, I don't think we need that, um, but I wanted to do wait. Um, if CRD dot wait is greater and CRD dot wait is greater than zero, then else CRD dot wait minus equal one. And then all of the other stuff is just gonna be in, in a huge if statement. Yeah, yeah. 
You, you saw that? You saw that? Maybe a little bit less of a weight. Maybe three would be enough. I want it to be smooth. Let's make it really smooth. Yeah, that's better. This just like works. This is bad. We have to just figure this out. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's easy. Oh, I was I was being silly. Just H drag. Hashtag H drag. Didn't, still didn't look great. Or maybe that was okay. I just, I just, I have to look at this with some fresh eyes. I think that was okay. Okay. Uh, I need to take off. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this this time around again and of course we of course we will be back in the evening hopefully we can uh figure out this this whole kayla juice then maybe some add some juice to the game and maybe already start setting up um, the tutorial um yeah this was fun this was fun we're it, it feels like we're we're marching towards the end see you this evening bye bye Welcome to the evening stream. Day 16. Day 16 evening stream. Yes. Hello, Selesme. Evening stream for the win. Indeed, Rooney Shmooney. Uh, oh man, I'm, I'm a bit late today. Afternoon for Bretsky. Hi, Bretsky. I'm a bit... Um, I'm mangled. Um, we had one of those evenings again. Uh, the gunpla behind me, well, there's two gunplas. There's one here and one over there. That is a real gunpla and that is the perfect grade Exia. Uh, over there, that is not technically gunpla, that is a Chinese gunpla, <laughs> which is not gunpla, this plamo, I guess, right? It's not a Gundam. But it looks like one. Um, and that is a uh, zero gravity judge, which is a fantastic kit and it's sold out. You cannot have it, but it's so good. I love the Exia too. They're, those are my, my, my darlings. Why did I say Skype? Sync. Trying to log into Skype from Pico 8. Yeah, yeah, PG, PGX, yeah, is, 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 yeah, I, I, um, I, I think I already talked about this previously, but, um, yeah, on the, I think on the Lazy Dev Look. I went to Japan one day and I saw it in Japan. I like, I was like look, going through the Gundam stores, like never saw, you know, Gundam store before and never built a gun, Gunpla. And then they advertised, when I was there, they advertised um, the Perfect Great Exia and I was like, oh, one day, one day, I one day I will, I will, I will start building Gunpla and then I will build a huge Gundam. And then, uh, yeah, during the pandemic, I started building them, slowly, my, slowly working my way up, way up through all different grades. And then as the finale, I was like, it's time. High grade Yazobi collab. What, what is? Oh, I heard about that. I heard about that. It's, the name rings a bell. K 
Kiat? What is Kiat? <laughs> is, that a, is that a load? Oh yeah, yeah. It's just like if you L O, but if you shift it to the left, it's. Uh, if. Uh, and the high grade Lifrith neon collection to go with the yes of you. Are these the Gundams from the new Gundam movie? I have not watched too much of that. I just like two or so episodes. It's a bit different, yeah, but I, yeah, I've, I've heard high praise from it, from the Gundam show. And the uh, two or three episodes I showed was, were good. I was like, I'm gonna wait until the season's over and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna binge them. It's a bit jerky. It's a bit jerky. The designs look pretty good too. The, the, the white, I don't know which, I, I don't have the names. Um, the white um, purple one looks really nice. Like it had more like an insect kind of feel. Okay, so we are working on that halo juice. Um, circles. On that halo juice, and it kind of works already, so I'm, I'm kind of happy about that. Let me let me figure out one thing. Um, it feels like the spacing didn't happen. Now, now it didn't happen at the same time, but it looked wrong. It looked wrong. Something, something was wrong. Hey, Snowja! Uh, just looks good. I keep missing the stream, so I'm pumped to, to be here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, well, it's gonna be. I was gonna be released soon, so. Um, how are you, Christian? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just like my mind is just like shutting down. I was. Um, I'm trying to find out what is happening here. There is. Um, it feels like. The waiting is not really working that or like some something the order is messed up. And I wanna find out what. Come on, really? Oh, okay, so I... Yeah, see, that's weird. 
weird. Something is not right, uh, but it so happened so quickly. I I don't. S okay, let me let me let me make it like this. Oh, okay. So it f the order is correct, but it flies to the right, wrong spot. So the DX is wrong. like the right spot or maybe if let me let me take a look at this again so what we would should see is that first the blue one flies in then the green one and then the purple one. Okay, the blue one flies in, but it just flies in the wrong spot. Okay, just just flies in the wrong spot. For some reason, I'm not sure. Like, I seem to like the right choice here. It's not. Hmm. Well, let's try with Hashtag drag. Maybe that will work. Yeah, that, that worked. I don't know why it works. You know, and I'm just too tired to find out why. Yeah, but now it now it feels good. this with a maybe this shouldn't scroll that far down mm, unfortunately we are in a, in a state where we like all of these things have to be solved now cannot be like, oh, I'm gonna take it a little edit later. No, there's no later, it has to be solved now. Hmm. Um, okay, so this mouse mode. was right. Hey, AG. Nah, that, that feels bad. For some reason that feels good. Clear. 
Okay. Mm. Okay, if I get through this, it's gonna be over for today because I'm just like, better get some sleep in and then, uh, you know, put the pedal onto the metal on for the finale. But no, this is good. Um, so, okay, make it work with, ha with Halo Clear is next step. And also, um, Halo rotates in, into place better. So that's gonna be the step after. Okay, so make it clear, make it work with clear. So the problem right now is that if we... Too many cards. situation where we get exactly as many cards as we want okay so let me let me do it like this and now if line uh, then Trying to find this tune on Game Chops. What's it called, please? Uh, the current um, thing that's running is called Zelda and Chill plus Zelda and Chill 2. And the tune that is running right now is called Gerudo Valley. It kind of starts around uh, 14 minutes and 50 seconds in. Yeah, they have like a one big uh, video that is one hour and 20 minutes long and just called Zelda and Chill plus Zelda and Chill 2. Okay, so these are, we're kind of like um, canceling if there is animation running and we can actually already cancel if there is, we can already do, if there is an h track happening, we're not gonna get in, in, in uh, or H drag hashtag H drag is greater than zero. Um, so if there's an H drag happening, we also cancel. Uh, uh, if, if we're trying to drag in too many cards, we also cancel. Now, if we, the amount of cards that we are about to drop is exactly the way the amount we need then there is different different considerations um there's two clears okay uh, well then then there's a, a fail here sure Okay, maybe we do it with a function. We put all of this in a function. Halo, hey, halo add. Here we are adding, yeah, we are adding to the front. And we can also do it on the, to the back. There is a 
uh, to the front, I mean. Had um, Wait, is, did I, it was that? No, I just copied it. I need to actually insert the other one. Okay. So this is uh, adding the things to the front. Now I'm wondering if there's a, maybe a way of combining these two. This part is quite often now. Uh, well, there's subtle differences there, so I feel like we meet, we have to um, keep them. Okay, so so the first one connects to the last one. Then we're gonna add to the back, so we can remove this. Uh, and if the Last one connects to this one. We're gonna uh, we're gonna connect to the front. Now in these cases here, are we not gonna Yeah yeah this this looks this makes this seems good but it's actually not good right now anymore. So we're gonna go like this. Bam. Uh, we're gonna add it to the back here. Yeah, back is good. Um, <clears throat> so this is where if the end li line is empty. I just need to <laughs> while at the work event. What? <clears throat> this is when um, there is something in it. In, in which case we are we are uh, you know we're doing connection the front and the back, and again we are. But then what are am I doing? Oh, I just put everything into the. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. And then we're clearing it out. Okay, that's good. Yeah, well, I guess this this the. Uh, consequences are the same and then here fail loop on close which is uh, just like this okay in other case a drag will be nil if we if we did stuff we stack we place heaps uh, maybe not really necessary um, this is also not necessary anymore we're gonna get this out. I said to me, <laughs> yeah, it's like, a, what up? That's who I am. Um, right, and now we want to animate the cards. Yeah, that's right. Right, and then here is where we can check if if um, the halo is complete, right? So we can go like, I mean, it's fairly simple. If um, hashtag halo is greater than, uh, is equal to six, then, then it means it's complete, and in which case, uh, We're gonna run this SFX. And, um, and here it's gonna be else. <clears throat> Uh, we need to watch out here. If halo equals six and 
um, hdrag hashtag hdrag equals um, zero. So if, if this was the last one that flies in. Hey Gilbert, how are you doing? Oh god, I need the chat with RC of Oh, is it about 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 the live stream? Say hi to the CEO for me. Um, right, so if the last one thing approaches, <laughs> chat <laughs> chat says hi. <laughs> uh, then we're gonna do something like phalo equals halo and then halo equals clear right and that that will work oh hrec okay hrec hrec and It just worked. It's easy. Glühwein time, yes. Our oh, glühwein time is so good. What can I say? It just works. <laughs> it just works. <laughs> uh, I'm happy. I'm happy. This is good. Good. Um, because that was that was a bit of a, a sketchy situation. Okay. Halo rotates into place better. That's something that I wanted to deal with. better understanding of, of what, I, what I need. Oh, by the way, yeah, okay. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, by the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's do that now. Update game. <laughs> so it's like so much scrolling and it's, ah, there we go, animate Halo. Um, no, normal Halo there. <laughs> so it's like this, this fake out. Wait, we're rotating. We're rotating. Oh, no, no, we don't rotate. Um, so if... If drag is not new on mouse, why? Maybe we should do it other way around. So we're gonna go if um, drag is not equals nil and mouse y is blah blah blah, or um, h drag 
and hashtag h drag is greater than zero. Okay. And in this case, we're stopping the rotation. Else, so these are the, the two situations where we're stopping the rotation. Normally, stop rotation for drag. Okay, and then end. So, wait. Oh, okay, using keyboard mode actually doesn't do anything. Interesting. So this was actually something that only worked for. Okay, <laughs> that's good to know. Um, why does manipulate? Oh yeah, yeah, because we're not doing anything with Halo DR. Okay, okay. Um, Halo DR um, minus equal. Okay, that now th this really depends on how many, how many. Um, Objects are in the halo. So I think if um, hashtag halo is smaller equals two, then 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 okay. Well, when if hashtag halo equals zero, then else if he, hashtag halo is smaller than two, then and then else. So in, in the first case, we want halo dr minus equal um, yeah, so the pieces are, I think, 11 in size. So we want to have like minus equal 5 by 5. You inspired me to make my first Pico 8 up dice, a dice roll to make voicemails more. Voicemails? Dice roll to make voicemails? What is it? Why voicemails? I'm confused. But I'm glad that you that you made your app. That's that's that sounds fun. And using an external editor is fine. Like there's nothing. Like, what's the problem? Sure. Use an external editor. What? What's the deal? Um. In this case, we're gonna uh, uh, minus equals hashtag Halo times eleven divided by two, so times 5.5. Because it's hard for me to do voicemails and rolling a dice to pick from the list somehow makes it feel like a game. Voicemails? I feel like I'm having a stroke. Why? Why would you roll a dice when recording a voicemail? To answer voicemails? I'm. 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 I'm so confused. Wow. 
Yeah. But but what do you need need the number? Oh, you just. Oh oh, so it's a job thing. Oh oh oh, that makes so much more sense. <laughs> I was thinking my, my mind went straight straight into like a. Um. Uh, like a script, you know, when the person says this, then you answer this, you know, like you sometimes have you no know, call centers, like these kind of like um, scripts, but then somehow, you know, turning into an RPG where you roll. <laughs> so if the person says this, then you roll and depending on your role, <laughs> there's like a branching path. <laughs> so basically you provide, but then, but that wouldn't be a voicemail, that would be just a <laughs> You could automate telephone calls. Okay, so okay, so I I, I want to try this now. Okay, this is good. Now when I'm here, that's good because the the piece is in the center, so I can see how it connects. By the way, it starts rotating too fast. Also, there was jump here. I, we have to we have to figure this out. Oh, there is a movement there. Yeah, I don't know. What's what's with the jump? What's happening there? Now, I'm not sure why this is happening. This is not supposed to be happening. But I think it's because... Um, okay, we're gonna deal with that in a second. So, this is good. Um, it's not rotating, but it's okay. Then this is also good. Then this is still good. Okay. I feel like we, we may we keep, keep it up for until three or so and then we kind of have to do the opposite so now we want to Plus Halo X. Trying to make a new contact. <laughs> contract roll for persuasion and at charisma modifier. That's right. High score is how many random responses before they hang up. Does it jump when you go half down half and back up? Yeah, I'm not sure why it jumps, honestly. I mean, I am changing things here around. So. So let, let me finish maybe this thing up and maybe... Maybe I... No. Honestly. So if I wrote it to 66... Uh, you know what? Uh, something we're gonna do here. Uh, 
um, plus equals I want always halo x to be reduced to zero. Uh, let let me let me do a debug of this. Um, SGN two. Yes. Halo X, then uh, Halo X equals zero is smaller than zero point one. Okay, so let, let's say the it was in the center. So technically, we just move it to the right. Man, this is just eluding me. Oh man. I'm just like I need to draw this. This is this is just such a ugh. All right. So the question is we have we have a screen, right? And on that screen we're drawing some something oh gosh jesus why is this um we're drawing some things oops you know what i'm trying to do is let's say we have done we have three of those and then empty spots and this whole thing is 66 pixels And then I want to just find out this distance. Okay, 
so this distance um, this distance is 66 minus 6 minus uh, hashtag halo So that's how many we have here divided by two. Um, multiplied with 11. So times 5.5. That's how far I have to add or subtract. Or subtract. Yeah, I don't know why it jumps. something wrong here. Let us remove this for a second. I don't, I don't want to deal with this right now. to the front because that's easier to do. Okay. Now let us Is it H drag or H Okay, okay, um, I wanted to build up this, this thing, okay, so... Okay, and now we should start seeing... Well, maybe not now, but in a second now we should start seeing it. Yeah, okay, good. See, now, now it shows me the gap. that feels better when completing it. And I think it's fine if we do it like here, right? Let's try that. So there's a progress here at least. And now we should see the gap. Yeah, okay, now it shows me the gap and that, yeah, that feels like more uh, as if I'm trying to complete something. And then also the things fly better, yeah, because they're right, it's right here in the center. Okay. Good, so this feels good. Now um, I need to figure out what the problem with the... Ah, 
see now it's no longer centered. But I feel like this should solve that problem, huh? Now I should be going to this part, but I will go to this part now. only happening when you're doing on the back okay so we're gonna go this is a small fix it's a bit of a hack here but it's okay if um, local offset hack equals um, Hashtag LNE is greater than uh, is greater than two. Uh, no, it's just that. Okay. If hack, then. Plus equals one, uh, 66. like a jerkiness to all of the, all of this and I don't like this it feels like when I'm releasing it suddenly this whole thing starts moving see like there's like a three-way jerk happening uh, but I think I know why that is question is, can I stop it somehow? Let's try this. If um, a track and if, so if the dragon is happening we just we're just gonna stay stay put then else then we're gonna
approach it normally. Halo T will also stay zero. But I think it's it's kind of like okay, let's try that. Nope. Did like a little jerk. You see you see that? Oh but I know maybe what the problem could be. This works nice. <laughs> okay, that's not what I wanted. What? What? I feel like I made a mistake. Yeah. I think this this hack that I did. Yeah, I'm adding to the back where I, that should be on, on the front. Uh, a little hack the wrong thing. And I didn't, didn't even notice. looks nice and mellow. Okay, so f adding things from one side looks good now, but just like from the other side look doesn't look good. Why is this not good? Why is there this jerk happening? This jerk is happening because we... We did a Halo DR, probably. This is all due to the fact that while we're dragging something in, in the halo, where, where the things are flying, the halo has already changed underneath. So all the math concerning the rotation, the exact um, position of the halo, is scrambled. And we can have to unscramble it. Um, and things are okay if we're just adding to the back of the halo, which we can just like freeze the halo and be like just add the things to the, to the back. But the problem is when you're adding to the front of the halo, then we're getting into troubles. function um, halo st let's call it halo stop the air Look. 
the air equals wait 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 let us ignore let us ignore this for, for a while. Let's just ignore this for a while. We just don't want to deal with this this right now. Uh, hello, stop. Hello, dear. Equals equals hello, stop. Dear. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna call Halo Soft here. We're not gonna just gonna do it like this. And we're gonna copy this. And then the idea is that And then we're gonna do here hash a halo. And then here when we're so see the problem is, uh, happens here when we are calculating, we're changing the halo dx that kind of changes um, the the offset on the halo and that kind of makes the jerky movement happen. So if we here say set um, halo stop the air. Hashtag Halo. Um, then we might get this might work. Let's first see if, if the old way still works. Yeah, still works. Yep. Okay. Now let's see if the new way works. So. Oh, no, still jerk. I don't know even why. This is just complete garbage. Oh man, what? Why doesn't it work? This is good. Now we're dropping something in here. And there was a jerk. Now, of course, now everything is broken anyway. But why is it broken? Why is the jerk happening? We made the Halo X specifically not to have the jerk happen.
wait, so we said we're adding th kind of like three things to it. Let's say three things to it. Oh man, this is, this is really just like, okay, so I'm gonna talk through the problem, maybe that helps me. So use, let's say we have one element in the halo and it starts drawing here and everything is cool. But then if we add another element in here, then if we started drawing at this line, we we will we, we would get get a jerk. Everything would shift by by another thing. So we decide we use this halo X to shift everything to the left to start drawing a little bit further to the left. So there's no jerk happening. Destination. Probably should be using Halo DR, huh? Yeah, but that's not the, that's not what's causing the problem. Why the drug is happening? Halo R minus equal. Yes. Okay. Good. The only thing we need to figure out now That was wrong. That was good. This went too far to the left. This was also too far. And now this should now go to the right. But it go to, went to the center. Yeah, this is offset. Um, so we, I think we need to bring in halo axis here as well. Now the Halo DR is referring to the olden. 
I think here it doesn't make make a difference, right? Like let's let's see what happens if we hit it here like this, and then start going from the front. Yeah, this seems fine. Yeah, the rotation is currently stopped for debugging purposes. It just it just doesn't want to cooperate. What is? Um, see, this went too far to the left. And now it should go to the right, but it goes into the center. Mismatch. Okay, um, this is weight, that's okay, but here dx. So, again, let's be, we think about this. So, we have Sorry, I, I had my window in the right position. So usually it's here, but now we want to add two more elements. So we need to make them go here and here. Now, the moment we do this, we kind of have to calculate this position. We kind of already did that. So now the new elements are being added here and here. I think that was the problem because previously I was adding them there, but now we're adding them in here. So it has to be um, which is the first element we're adding. Well, the first element is going to be the last in the entry, and the one in last in the entry. Oh, so I think it's just like plus. Because if we're adding this uh, two elements, and the first one's gonna be h rec well, times 11, yeah. Okay, let's try that. No. No. Mm, but not too bad. I think it's be just off by one. That was good. Oh, okay, but that was... Okay, let's try again. Okay, this was off by one. This was off by one. Yeah, it's just off by one. And now I can catch up with this. Uh, okay, so there's version control. Version control talk. Okay, good. Okay, let's try this. 
Does this work if you put more than one at the beginning? Seems like it would need to take an account. I... No, I'm not sure what, what you mean. Are you talking to... Is, is, am I? Is that a question to me? Um, by the way, we already, already tried individual pieces. So what happens if we have multiple ones? Oh yeah, that's fine. It just like seems like they're coming in uh, at the same time. The, the, it seems like the delay is not there. Maybe just like a. Um, you can make the weight stronger. Um, there's one more thing I want to do here. Uh, I don't like how sometimes I don't know how to do this. Oh, I do know how to do this. I want to print some information here. I think it's important. Uh, no, debug. Sets to 64. Interesting. Okay. We were setting this always to zero. And that's good. Okay, okay, got it, got it. So we can basically say like... If um, ABS... If Halo R... Halo R it will always be greater than, yeah, yeah, okay, that will always be the case. Um, but if Halo DR, well, we can just, Halo R is greater than Halo, 
Halo, Halo DR and Halo DR minus Halo R. Um, so the difference uh, by which we want to scroll is greater than I guess and then hey halo R minus equal sixty six. Wait, wait, wait. Why did that happen? Oh, okay. It, it, because it's just broken this way now. Holy crap, what did I break? Ah. This thing I broke. Right, and now if I go in here. I should get this, but I'm not getting this. Okay, but yeah, now we're getting this. Okay, print print Halo R for me, please. Halo R. Oh man, I'm just like not in a position to do this. I'm sorry, I'm complaining so much. Um, what the the music stopped? Please continue. Let's make this music. Yes. Ah, okay. No, but... What is happening? Okay, you know what? This even ah uh, wait but what are the debug stuff that's happening right now? What is this? Displaced. Okay. The displaced. What 
is this? Moving halo, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, there's no debugging anymore. Okay, good. I just um, I just wanted the um, the rotation of the halo to be just not as extreme. That's what I'm looking for. So if the halo has would have to rotate a lot to get to the position, I want it to rotate less. That's just like what I'm trying to do, and somehow it's just not. Um, less by rotating in the other direction. Um, I am, yeah, moving halo. No. There we go. Still a jerk happening here. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe. I think it's because of this, right? Yeah. Because of this. Mm. But maybe that's a good good opportunity to, to take care of this on a global scale. Not just here. Not just here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go if halo dr minus halo. Absolute halo dr minus halo is greater than e or equals no, not not abd a p b s um sixty six then halo minus equals. Think about this real quick. Um, let's make it 30, 33, right? So if the difference that, that which, by which we move some, is greater than half a rotation, then rotating from the other side would be more advantages. Helicopter viewpoint. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just tired. It's fine. I'm just trying to, f to finally fix this and, and 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 get this behind. Helicopter viewpoint. I never heard that. Um. So if halo R is smaller then this will be positive. So we should get this. 
doing this. Let's try that. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're lucky. Maybe, maybe it will work. It worked. Okay. Oh yeah, that looked as, as if I wanted the thing. Yeah, 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 because now sometimes it's going in one direction, sometimes the other direction. Okay. I told you, sometimes you just have to... Sometimes... <laughs> hey, we, we, we blew it. Okay, one more thing, one more thing, um, because I had it on my list here. So, hay rotates in place better, yes. A small splash circles, maybe I wanted that small splash circles. This was, this was, this was not easy. Bit tipsy. And her gribbled is a bit tips. Oh man, what an experience. But now look how nice it feels. I guess what I want to do is I want an update function update upd go over. Oh, then I'm gonna just right here. Uh, I use this chime balo function. I don't know if I need that much data, but um, let's go to update. Uh, this is just a test. Uh, it's, it's, maybe it's just too much and I will just leave it to go, but, but I just want to see how that looks. Um, that's a lot of tokens for to trigger those guys. Um, UPD game, there we go. So, do we do an attach? No, no, not necessarily. Do we do a wait? No. Um, X and Y is gonna be CRD X and Y. Oops. Um, color is gonna be So just, just, just make, make it like this for now. Friction one. Yeah, everything else stays the same, and just like see what happens. Um, plus. Oops. Um. Plus. 5.5 plus 4.5 mm -hmm.
make a stray big. Nah, nah, it doesn't add anything. And uh, the splashes uh, kind of draw attention to the fact that the cards don't fly perfectly where they're supposed to be going. So I am, I am, I'm not, I'm gonna avoid that. Let's, let's just not do that. It's fine. That's still like it's just so satisfying to listen to. That's a big deal. Okay. Um, okay. One thing that we haven't done is halo dots. Um, um, so let's put those into the juice. Right. Um, so this is going to be it for today. And. Uh, Next, uh, so tomorrow is going to be kind of like the final push. Um, the goal tomorrow for tomorrow is going to be to make the game as playable as possible. Like this is going to be I, I, at the end of the to of tomorrow, I want to have a version that I can release, or at, that I think I can release. Maybe there's some bugs or so forth, but you know, just I, I, you can play for from the beginning to the end. Uh, which we're not we're not too far away. Um, the big thing is the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna do an attempt, an, an attempt for the tutorial. I, th I have the inkling that this might draw the rest of the art. <laughs> nah, nah. Um, I think I have an idea of how the tutorial will work, and I, it, might, it might be fine. Um, so yeah. E we will cancel the tutorial if we realize that we are running over time. But actually, like there's like the game is playable, right? We can, we can just play through it. Maybe that's maybe something that we will start um, right away. So first, we're gonna do like a UI overhaul um, because uh, what I want to do is I will explain tomorrow. But I want to remove this screen because it's just not ready for prime time yet. There's this. Uh, I want to, to maybe turn this into the campaign. And uh, yeah, this, the history thing, I don't think that works very well. So what I probably will do is like, I will just have like the, the pop button here and it starts you immediately into the game. And there is a tutorial button and that's gonna be it. And maybe just gonna be like an easy and difficult button. Um, and the tutorial will just start you in an empty, uh, like in, in, in a game that has basically just like two pieces or something and it's the text will say connect the two pieces. And then you connect the two pieces, and no more pieces appear, and then the text will change. Um, right. Um, so I want to focus on the UI stuff. Um, so it's kind of like it looks the way I want the game, the final game, to look like. And then when the UI stuff is there and the game looks like the way I want it to look like, I will tr uh, do an attempt for the tutorial. If the tutorial works out, or if it doesn't work out, I cancel and then focus on uh, work my way through this list of, of little little things. Mass imagery. I missed a lot this evening, but the progress has been great. Keep up the gr good work. Almost there, and look forward to watching the weekend tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's we did a lot of progress today. We, 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 uh, today we defeated uh, we slain we have slain great dragons. Things that have been bo bothering me. It's good that we we figured these out. Um, yeah, and there's like things that I hope I can pull off because I know it's going to be very quick. Uh, things like the screen transition, and that will just add a lot of polish. Um, maybe the setup juice. Maybe we can do something with the setup juice. Um, the in-game bubbles is something that's, uh, you know each or none of the, those things I have I have ideas for. Yeah, sure, Squid Light. Uh, thank you for hanging out, and hang thank you everybody else for um, uh, for hanging out again. Tomorrow is going to be the final push. Hope you join me for tomorrow. Uh, I probably will start. Pinky promise. Probably will start really, really earlier tomorrow, because uh, you know tomorrow it ends tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. 
Wait, where's the button?